In this lesson, we're going to look at volume again. Um, but the difference here is that we're going to focus on volume where the thing we're trying to measure is usually a liquid of some sort. Um, before, we looked at uh, cubic feet, cubic inches, cubic yards. You know, and that's how you would, um, you know, say, for example, figure out the volume of a package, right? So a nice solid object. Here we're going to look at units of volume that we use all the time for cooking and things like that. Um, so fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Okay, so we have four different e equivalencies to use here. And this first example uh, it says convert six and one quarter gallons to quarts. So uh, first of all, I have this six and one quarter gallons. Now what am I going to be doing with this number? Well I'm going to be multiplying it by unit conversion factor. So we understand that we've got to do one of two things here. Either this uh, six and one quarter needs to become 6.25 which is fine because um, one quarter is exactly equal to 0.25 um, or we need to turn it into an improper fraction. But remember you can't multiply um, by a mixed number. So uh, we got to do one of those two things. I'm going to go ahead and turn it to an improper fraction just to show how it is you should set up a problem where you have an improper fraction that you want to convert. So 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So this will turn into 25 fourths. Now the gallons is still in the numerator so I want you to keep that gallons up here. And then the 4 is just down there all by itself. Alright, so now we're going to work on going from gallons to quarts. And luckily for us, we have a conversion that gets us directly there. So there are 4 quarts in 1 gallon. I'm trying to get rid of gallons, so I'll put that on bottom. Quarts on top. So it's 4 quarts for every 1 gallon. Alright, so our gallons cancel out like we know we want them to. And the other thing we can notice is, let's just go ahead and cancel our fours right now. All right, so we can cancel those. So now there's actually no arithmetic to do at all, because it's just 25 times one on top, and then one times one on bottom. So that gives me 25 quarts. Okay, so now we want to convert 70 fluid ounces into gallons. Um, to the nearest hundredth. So we want it in gallons to the nearest hundredth. So we have 70 fluid ounces. And I know ounces is kind of a weird one. Um, it's abbreviated OZ, but, uh, uh, but there's no Z in the word ounces, but that is correct to have the Z in the abbreviation. Um, and also it's important to write fluid ounces because um, as we'll see in our next video, there's such thing as ounces that measure weight and they're two different things. So fluid ounces are different than ounces so make sure if you're talking about volume make sure it's fluid ounces. Alright so 70 fluid ounces if it helps we can put it over one. I'm trying to get myself to gallons so I understand fluid ounces is kind of the, is the smallest unit in our list here and so it kind of works its way up the ladder so um, we can go from fluid ounces to cups and that's the only conversion that involves fluid ounces so we're gonna have to settle for that so we want fluid ounces to go away so we put that on bottom and we know there are eight fluid ounces for every one cup okay so we can now at least get rid of our fluid ounces so now we've got to go from cups to the next unit up and that would be pints and so there are two cups to every one pint okay so we can, can cancel out our our cups I like to take the time to cancel out units as I go. I just find it kind of cleans things up um, nicely and helps kind of keep me on track. So 
I can put pints down there to cancel it out. And quarts up here, so there is one quart for every two pints. So we're just about there, we're trying to get to gallons. So one more conversion will get us from our quarts to our gallons. All right, so put quarts down here, and we know there are four quarts for every one gallon. And so we've got the unit that we want. All right, and then we have this whole mess here. Um, go ahead and do some canceling if you can. Um, let's see, 70 is even, so you can definitely say 70 divided by 2 is 35. And I'll maybe divide by this two. Two divided by two is one. But other than that, I don't think there's any other dividing we can do. So at this point, we simply need to multiply everything on top. So it's 35 times one a whole bunch of times. So 35 over, and then eight times two times four. So that's going to be 64. So 35 over 64 gallons. Okay, but uh, we need to actually convert this and get it to the nearest hundredth. So we need to do some division here. <clears throat> I'll do my division up here in this little area. So 35 divided by 64. All right, of course, 64 doesn't go into 35. So we'll add a zero. And let's see, I'm thinking. We're going to go in there five times. So five times four is 20 and 32. So we get a remainder of 30. Drop down the zero. 64 goes into 300. Well, uh, five times 64 was 320. So I better bump that down by one. So four times four is 16, four times six plus one is 25. All right. So then we get a remainder of 44. Drop our zero down there. Uh, let's see, 440 goes in, uh, or can we have 64 divided into it, I think, seven times? Seven times four is 28. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 2 is 44. Oh, not quite, just a little too big. That's okay. It's okay to guess wrong on these. So we'll just go down one. But at this point, I'm one past the hundredths place, right? So really, I have enough information without even finishing here to have my problem rounded correctly. Okay, so because this is larger than five, um, I know that this bumps up to a five. So this is gonna be 70 fluid ounces is about 0 0.55 gallons.